my my concern of that mr palmer has health conditions serious health issues Wagwan people, one of you would hope everybody doing good as always. And today we have some fresh updates to go now as in regards to Vibes Cartel. So we have Vibes Cartel lawyer Isaac Buchanan basically I react to the information that was put out by the Court of Appeal that um they will be hearing arguments to decide whether or not Vibes Cartel and the rest among them will be going to a retrial. Yes, what may I say? And this will be done on the 10th of June. So if you never know, if you never watch the last video, you will get the update. Yes, what may I say? Vibes Cartel, them lawyer have um, by the 6th of May to present their argument why there should not be a retrial, while the prosecution side have until the 31st, 31st of May to present their um, argument why there should be a retrial. And then they're going to be a five-day hearing of the judge considering all of the arguments and then they will decide whether or not Vibes Cartel will walk free or there will be a retrial. Now we have Isaac Buchanan speaking with Andre um, Stevens um, basically reacting to the whole thing and him also I say yo, him get the news after the information was released which means uh, the the star the cleaner nationwide news them people that get the information before him and him clients you see me and him basically um basically i say yo that should not have been the case you see me and him also speak about vibes cartel bl application and all of that so we are getting out of the video but remember for leave a like on the video run up the likes to 100 likes quick and fast and if you're new to the channel just subscribe you see me so we are getting out of the video now and then we'll talk some more after. Um, so I will say to you that the matter is now subjudice because it's before the Jamaican court. So there's not much that I can say. And I would encourage people to get their breaking news from all the state media that's out there that seems to have all the information before even the lawyers do. Yeah, because I saw it on the media before the lawyers even got... I get, no, I gathered that before the attorneys got it there were some media houses that got the document before you mm. is that true to that or oh, did you I, I'm, I'm saying for what 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 whatever but the, the my my concern all the time um is that the information which mm -hmm. is the client's information um should get to the client before um their families are they get an opportunity to speak to their family but i guess it's public interest and not not really going on in the country like five people murdered on on mountain view is not breaking news because it's more important to talk about a five-day hearing sometime in june so if if there's going to be a five-day hearing is that the retrial or is that the hearing before the retrial oh that's what you're asking it's a five-day yeah. hearing for um the crown to pursue on to the court of appeal rules mm -hmm. judge rules section 14.2 an application to 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 determine if an application by the crown for there to be a retrial oh so the dpp's office is making an application well, the rules would suggest that it is their application, yeah. Oh. Oh. And then now the judge, after the five days, will decide whether or not there needs to be a retrial or not. Correct. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's more a case where there's work to be done on the Crown side, the defense side. There's always work to be done when appellants who are to be free are not yet free. The fight for freedom is never an easy one. So, so in a few more days, you'll be busy again back on the job to put together your arguments. I never day. stop being free, busy. I have to re up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Anyway, anyway, anyway. People. So this is a very serious matter. The matter is before the court. 
what 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 is lost rather than a, a headline about um here in set for june is the swiftness of the court to respond to the order from the king that should be breaking news that our judges are not idle and that our court acted expeditiously in light of the fact that mr palmer has health conditions serious health issues that's the constitutional consideration and the compassion and the empathy that the court has shown through the order of McDonald Justice McDonald Bishop. But wouldn't you, wouldn't it be said that, shouldn't it be said that in the interim, couldn't you have applied for bail for your artist to go and seek medical redress? I'm just asking. Bail, bail, bail for what? Why, why should you apply for bail when somebody should be free? Well, I'm just asking because no, I'm just I'm just asking because we like to be cute with stuff, and the village lawyers have all uh, they have all the answers. Not you, but just general. No, because there was an argument that a bail application would have been done at this time. Who was the argument? Who made that argument? From members of, not you, but other members of the legal team representing the appellants. Persons were hearing that argument that yeah. you guys would have been applying for bail. You guys, all right, very well. Anyway, yeah. So, you know, we we, we deal we deal with it as it as it comes. As I said, the matter is sub Judas. Um, there are many things to talk about. Let's talk see people you not know, here what go on this, so you see what me I say. So we wait all of that. But one of the main points we touch upon is the BL application for Vibes Cartel, and most of us was under the impression that once the, the court document filed from the Privy Council that they will be applying for bail for Vibes Cartel. And based on how it sound, it not sound like they might apply for bail. As you may say, people, they're actually waiting on the final decision, which will be made after June 10th. You see me? All right, June 15 at that, because it's a five-day hearing. You see me, people? So, all of us was hoping, or was anticipating, rather, that Vibes Cartel possibly would be freed before that time so he can get medical attention. But Isaac is basically putting out there that he have never stated that he will be applying for bail. Um, I heard Bert Samuel said it, but Isaac, I don't remember if I hear Isaac said it before, but Isaac is, is basically saying, even though he never said it directly, but based on how he's speaking, it sounds like he will be filing for a bail application. You see me, people? So I guess the teacher just have to go wait until the final verdict a year whether or not he's going to go at a reach go to a retrial i will be walking free and that will be around june 15th you see me people but yeah that are the update for today when i can leave no thoughts on this end of the comment section if you're new to the channel subscribe and like the video share the video so everybody can mean and know you see me people i'm out